good day dear students today we are going to talk about the neural control of heart rate i am dr swapnil parlekar the story of neural control of heart rate is the story of this german scientist otto lewy who had a dream on the night of easter sunday in 1920 about an experiment he woke up the next day and tried to perform the experiment but he forgot next night he had the same dream he woke up at 3 am and jotted down notes next day he performed the experiment in which he took one heart in which the vagus nerve was intact and another heart in which the vagus nerve was denervated both the hearts were connected when the heart with the intact vagus nerve was stimulated its heart rate decreased but the heart rate decreased in the denervated heart also so louis hypothesis is that a substance is released from heart one which decreases the heart rate in heart two he called this vago stuff later henry dale identified it to be acetylcholine does a dream led to the discovery of acetylcholine the neurotransmitter of the parasympathetic nervous system louis and dale were awarded the nobel prize in physiology or medicine so we are going to study competency 5.9 five relates to cardiovascular physiology and nine is this particular competency which describes the factors affecting heart rate and it also includes regulation of cardiac output and blood pressure we are going to focus on the neural regulation of heart rate please remember that cardiovascular reflexes also play a role in the regulation of heart rate we are not going to discuss in this video so the learning objectives of the day are that at the end of this session you should be able to explain the role of the sympathetic nervous system in the regulation of the heart rate explain the role of the parasympathetic nervous system in the regulation of heart rate please remember that the autonomic nervous system is the principal regulator of heart rate the autonomic nervous system which plays a vital role in various visceral functions as you all know it has two divisions sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system the sympathetic nervous system increases the heart rate while the parasympathetic nervous system decreases the heart rate what is intrinsic heart rate when both the divisions of the autonomic nervous system are blocked the heart rate that prevails is called intrinsic heart rate this can be done only experimentally and the uh, heart rate then is about 100 per minute suggesting that vagus has a more dominant role than the sympathetic in the regulation of the heart rate normal heart rate is 60 to 100 per minute if the heart rate is less than 60 per minute it is called bradycardia and if the heart rate is greater than 100 per minute it is called as tachycardia so you can see the picture of the autonomic innervation of the heart the sympathetic innervation in uh, emerges from the intermedial lateral horn cells of the spinal cord and the sympathetic nervous system innervates both the atria and the ventricles so the sympathetic nervous system has the power not only to increase the heart rate but also to increase the force of ventricular contraction or myocardial contractility while the parasympathetic nervous system emerges from the dorsal motor nucleus of the vagus nerve in the medulla and it innervates the atria only so the parasympathetic nervous system has little or no control on ventricular contractility the parasympathetic nervous system has a fast on and a fast off effect means the effect is rapid in onset but it is also terminated very rapidly why is the effect fast on or rapid in onset because 
it is mediated by the muscarinic receptor m2 this receptor is coupled to a g protein but this g protein then activates an inotropic receptor which is a potassium aca channel so the effects are mediated very quickly so it is a fast on effect and it has a fast off effect that that is the effect is terminated also very quickly because there is large amount of the enzyme acetylcholine esterase in the synaptic cleft and this acetylcholine esterase will degrade acetylcholine very rapidly so the effect begins very quickly and it is also terminated very quickly it is a fast on and fast off because it has a fast on and a fast off effect the vagus now exerts beat to beat control of the heart rate so beat to beat control of the heart rate is exerted by the vagus now it is dominant in the control of the heart rate the sympathetic effect is slow in onset it is a slow on effect and it is a slow off effect that it, it terminates also very slowly why is it so the slow on effect of norepinephrine it is mediated through slow second messenger cyclic amp the beta adrenergic receptor of the heart is g protein coupled and it acts through a messenger cyclic amp the one which earl sutherland first discovered to be a second messenger this messenger is slow in onset therefore the effect of norepinephrine begins very slowly it also lasts for a long time so it is a slow off effect this is because norepinephrine diffuses away slowly so the effects go off away slowly so, so it is a slow off effect this slow off effect of norepinephrine has an evolutionary advantage think what would happen if this response is turned off quickly then one would not be able to run away from a predator because the muscles blood flow are activated by the flight response one would not be able to fight a prey also so the sympathetic response offers an evolutionary advantage now the take home points are the parasympathetic nervous system exerts beat to beat control of the heart rate acetylcholine has a fast on action mediated by potassium channel and a fast off action mediated by acetylcholine esterase and norepinephrine has a slow on action due to a slow second messenger cyclic amp and a slow off action because it is destroyed very slowly by diffusing away from the synaptic cleft so thank you enjoy the day